Once upon a time there was a royal elephant that used to reside in the premises of the king's palace. The elephant was very dear to the king, so he was cared, well fed and well treated. There was a dog who used to live in the neighborhood of the elephant shed. He was very weak and skinny. He was always fascinated by the smell of the rich sweet rice being fed to the royal elephant. One day the dog could not resist the aroma of the rice and somehow he sneaked into the elephant's shed. He ate the sweet rice that fell from the elephant's mouth. He liked the rice so much. And he started coming daily to eat the rice. For days, the huge elephant didn't notice the small dog as he was busy in enjoying the delicious food. Gradually, the dog became bigger and stronger by eating such rich food. He came under the notice of the elephant. The elephant used to enjoy the company of the dog and started sharing his food with him. Both of them also started sharing time with each other and soon they made good friends. They ate together, slept together and played together. It didn't take long when neither of them was happy without the other. They became great friends and didn't want to get separated from each other. Then one day a man saw the dog and asked the elephant keeper, "I want to buy this dog. What price do you seek for the dog?" The elephant keeper didn't own the dog. Still, he sold the dog. and extracted some of money out of this deal the man took the dog to his home village which was quite far away the king's elephant became very sad after this incident he missed his friend a lot and started neglecting everything He didn't want to do anything without his dear friend so stopped eating drinking and even bathing Ultimately the elephant keeper reported this to the king however he didn't tell anything about the dog The king had a wise minister who was known for his understanding of animals At once the king asked the minister Go to the elephant shed and find out the reason for the elephant's condition Intelligent minister went to the elephant shed and found the elephant very sad. He looked the elephant all over and asked the elephant keeper, "There is nothing wrong with this elephant's body. Then why does he look so sad? I think this elephant is grief-stricken, possibly due to the loss of a dear friend. Do you know if this elephant shared a close friendship with anyone?" There was a dog who used to eat, sleep and play with the elephant. He has been taken by a stranger 3 days ago. Where is the dog? I don't know. Your Majesty, as per my opinion, the royal elephant is not sick, but he is lonesome without his dear friend the dog. Do you know where the dog is? Elephant keeper has informed that the stranger took him away and he didn't know about his whereabouts. How can we bring back my elephant's friend and make him happy again? Your Majesty, make a declaration that whoever has the dog that used to live at the royal elephant's shed will be penalized. Attention everybody! Attention everybody! Whoever has the dog that used to live at the royal elephant's shed 
will be penalized. This is the king's order. The king did the same and the man who took the dog instantly turned him loose when he heard the proclamation. When the dog was free, he ran back as fast as he could to reach the elephant's shed. The elephant was so delighted to see the dog that he picked his friend with his trunk and made him sit on his head. The dog waved his tail while the elephant's eyes sparkled with happiness. The king was contented to see the happy elephant once again. He also rewarded the minister for his wise judgment. Both the elephant and the dog lived happily ever after. Children, what do you understand from this story? Did you see what a wonderful relationship that the elephant and the dog shared with each other? That is friendship. Friendship is one of the most beautiful things that can ever happen in one's life. The moral of the story is true friends can never be separated. Even if you fight with your closest of friends, I think you'll make up later sure because I know that you can never be separated from your true friend.